The city of Mainz is the state capital of Rhineland Palatinate. Eighty percent of it was destroyed in the Second World War. Some historical buildings were reconstructed but found themselves surrounded by mid-20th century architecture. With a history spanning 2,000 years, Mainz is a chaotic showcase of city planning through the ages. In 1884, construction work on the new railway uncovered some ancient remains, but they were dismissed as unimportant and work continued. In 1914, workers again discovered some remains and this time archaeologists investigated and confirmed that these were the remains of a Roman theatre. But the First World War meant no money was available for a proper excavation, so the site was filled in and forgotten about. Not until 1998 were the remains excavated, and in 2006 the station was renamed after this attraction, which is both one of the newest and one of the oldest the city has to offer. Unfortunately, the railway now cuts through what was once the stage of the biggest Roman theatre this side of the Alps. Nearby is the 17th century citadel, today used by, among others, parts of the city administration. Its construction eliminated a weak point in the city's defences. It was a hill outside of the fortifications from where enemy troops could simply fire straight into the city. In the grounds of the citadel, though, is this Roman remain. It proved useful as a watchtower, but is thought to have originally been a cenotaph for Nero Claudius Drusus, one of Rome's best generals who died in the year 9 BC. A little way out of the centre, the so-called Roman stones. These are the remains of an aqueduct, which at one point was 25 metres high, the tallest aqueduct north of the Alps. On the other side of the River Rhine is a 19th century fortress, which is currently technically in the city of Wiesbaden. It was built on the site of a Roman fort, which was a bridgehead, a military installation protecting access to a bridge. Exactly when the Roman bridge was destroyed is unclear, but its replacement burned down in the year 813, and it was nearly another millennium before a new bridge, complete with bridgehead, was built. In 1885, the modern road bridge was built and the fortified bridgehead no longer needed. The 8th century, though, saw the arrival of St Boniface, a missionary from England who helped bring Christianity to the Germans and later became Bishop of Mainz. Two hundred years later, one of his successors, Archbishop Villigis, built St Martin's Cathedral. Unfortunately, it burned down on the day of its consecration, and it was another 25 years before reconstruction was complete. It continued to be added to and altered over the centuries, and reached its current form in 1767. Mainz was the focal point of the Christianization of Central Europe and grew in importance and is today the only diocese other than Rome to be given the title Holy See. Apparently, 42 columns were made for it in the town of Miltenberg, about 80 kilometres away, but for some reason weren't used. Only eight are now known to exist, and one of them now stands in the marketplace in Mainz. The archbishops of Mainz were also the secular rulers of one of the territories of the confusing patchwork of microstates that was the Holy Roman Empire, the electorate of Mainz, which used the symbol of the six-spoked wheel. The city's coat of arms features two of them connected by a cross. Another of Mainz's churches is St Stephen's. 
The original was also built by Villigus, but was replaced by this one in 1340. The windows date from the 1980s, designed by Marc Chagall, a Jewish artist who saw them as his contribution to German-Jewish reconciliation. Other traces of medieval Mainz remain, but they're not easy to find. The Iron Gate is one of only three city gates still standing. It also served as a watchtower and a prison. In 1244, the city was granted a charter allowing the citizens to elect a council, and so became known as the Free City of Mainz. This happy state of affairs lasted until 1462, when Archbishop Adolf II killed 400 people, revoked the charter and put the city under his direct rule. As a consequence of this, Mainz no longer had a city hall until one was finally built in 1974. In the intervening five centuries, the council simply met wherever it could, even after it regained its powers. Perhaps the most famous person to come from Mainz is Johannes Gutenberg. In 1450, he revolutionised the printing press, making it possible to mass-produce books. This gave more people than ever access to learning and was a key element of the Renaissance. A memorial stands in Gutenbergplatz, which also features the State Theatre, originally built in the 19th century but extensively altered twice after that, and a reference to Mainz's literal place in the world. I'm standing on a line marking the 50th parallel. The only thing is, it's a lie. It was put here for the sake of tourists, but in fact, the true 50 degree north line of latitude is about 100 metres away. It is in fact somewhere here. You can see why they wanted to move it. It does, though, run through the old university building built in the 17th century on the site of an old monastery that contained Gutenberg's grave, all trace of which is now gone. You can, though, see the house where he died. Mainz suffered greatly during the Thirty Years' War, but recovered, and the 17th and 18th centuries saw the construction of a number of fine buildings reflecting the wealth and political power of the city. A new palace was built for the Archbishop in his role as Prince Elector and is one of Germany's most important Renaissance buildings. Not satisfied with this, Archbishop Franz Ludwig von der Pfalz built a second palace for himself in his role as Grand Master of the Teutonic Order and within a stone's throw of the Electoral Palace. It's now the seat of the Rhineland Palatinate State Assembly. But in 1790, war came to Mainz again, and in 1801, the entire Palatinate, including Mainz, was annexed by France. This period ended 34 years later, when Mainz became part of the Grand Duchy of Hesse, stripped of all its political importance. Instead, Mainz became famous for its carnival parade, as celebrated by this fountain erected in 1963, Packed full of allegorical imagery, its basic shape is supposed to remind you of the tower of the cathedral turned upside down. Carnival is the season of misrule, a time to mock and criticise authority. 
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.